Hey, I'm safe, baby. What's up? So today I'm gonna tell you what are the, the loadouts that I required you, for you to, to be prepared. The loadouts that you should have ready for when I'm gonna call it out. For example, the most uh, the loadout that I ask the most often is to pull medics. And when you pull medics, I'm expecting you, uh, even if it's not required to join the outfit, you should try to max out your medical applicator as fast as possible. Same for the AOE heal. And try to get a revive grenade. This is gonna help us in teamwork. What I also want you to have is some kind of underbar smoke launcher. For example, you can have a smoke launcher on your ghost, ghost, uh, ghost rifle S. For example, for this loadout, I have an underbar shotgun and an underbar uh, smoke launcher. And this is often helping us to push the front line. I'm gonna also teach you how to use smoke. And uh, it's very useful when you're a medic and revive people around. It can create some smoke screen for you to revive or to push with your friendlies. So this loadout is extremely important. Have a loadout ready with your medic with the assault rifle, actually any gun as long as you can have a freaking underbar shotgun with you, underbar smoke launcher with you, so we can push the front line if, if needed. For this loadout I also have C4, so I, I like this loadout because it's a very anti-everything, anti-infantry, I can go anti-max, and I can go anti-vehicle, um, anti anti-infantry, anti-everything, and I can revive my friendlies. And I also have the symbiote implant, this implant allows me to have nano weave armor, like the same benefit as resist bullets, but I take some damage over time. You can see my, my health bar going down from time to time it's because I, I'm not taking fire. But it can be compensated with the AUA heal. So this is why I like this implant, so it makes me more survivable. So it's just an inspiration for you, but uh, the most important thing for you to have is the medical applicator at max rank, AUA heal at max rank, when resonate. After that, you can use the med kits if you want. I like to use C4. And the underbarrel smoke launcher is going to be very useful for squad play also. So the next thing I want you to, to have is a magic bubble shield. The next loadout is uh, the same the same thing. Sometimes I ask for magic, or sometimes I specifically specifically say magic with a bubble shield. I don't even I forgot uh, what where I put this loadout here. It's instead of having the nano regen, you should have the shield uh, recharging field. This loadout is when we are camping an area together. And it's very useful to have one of the medics with this bubble shield. And it's important that it's only one. We don't need more of this bubble shield, usually one is enough. And I like the other, the other medics to have uh, just a standard loadout with AOA heal. So we can combine the two. So voila, I need to have a loadout with the, with the AOA heal and another loadout with the, with the bubble shield. Here, shield recharging field. So please have these two medic loadouts ready. This is, it's like, these are these are those I, I need you to pull the most of the time. Next one is, uh, is the engineer. Recently I unlocked ASP for my engineer, but uh, usually you have carbines. So for the engineer loadout that I, that I need you to be able to pull is the pocket engineer loadout. With any, any carbine or cl close wedge weapon, uh, you need to have the repair tool at rank 5, at rank 6, actually the max rank. It's going to be important because you're going to be uh, repairing maxes or vehicles. So it's very important for you to have the, this uh, loadout ready with your engineer. I like to have a Spitfire turret and 80 mines. Also have a sticky grenade and flak armor to resist uh, explosions. I have a robotics tactician uh, as, the, as the implant, so my Spitfire has more, uh, more, ha more life. It allows me to multitask. I can drop ammo, uh, defend, defend with my Spitfire and repair. And if I need uh, to, to switch quickly to to, to kill an enemy, I have my NS pistol. So uh, a pocket engineer loadout with the important uh, your repair tool max ranked, a Spitfire if possible, and this should be enough actually. And also uh, flak armor. I I usually go for flak armor because uh, in tight situation when you're trying to pocket engine for a max, you're gonna take a lot of explosives. This is why I recommend using the the flak armor loadout, the flak armor pair perk. Next is uh, when I ask you to gun for a vehicle, when I ask for gunners for a vehicle, for a sender or for a, for a harasser, I like to have a loadout just for gunning actually. And uh, this loadout, the, the only thing special it has is that uh, it's, it's nice that you have a long range carbine if you have to bail at some point. It's really important that you have your nano armor, same again, nano armor almost maxed out. Uh, a, repair, a repair grenade actually. A repair grenade is useful when you're gunning. I like you to have 80 mines and enhanced targeting. Enhanced targeting, um, sorry, target fo focus. This implant, when you're gunning, allows you to, to see the health of the, the enemy vehicles you engage. So it's a more optimal for, for gunning. Also, EOD HUD. 
this loadout is not really set up. I have several loadouts for different things. The other, the other implant that's really important is Sweeper HUD that allow you to see ET mines and it's gonna help you clear them out for your driver. Because oftentimes the driver cannot shoot and uh, he, he, he relies on his gunners to kill these ET mines around. If he cannot spot them, it's nice that you can spot them yourself with the AOG HUD. So this is the gunner, the gunner loadout for the engineer. This is extremely important. We often pull harassers or senders and uh, it's a simple loadout. Honestly, the most important part, you should have the, an the target focused implant so you can see the health of your enemies. And you should have 80 mines so when uh, I ask you to drop them, you are ready to, to, to do. So the next loadout that I'm going to ask you to pull very often is the kamikaze, lo ka kamikaze light assault loadout. For, for example, when we drop from a Valkyrie, I need you to, to have a light assault ready with C4. So we can uh, usually kill EMSs or just do kamikaze mission on groups. So I need you to have a loadout ready with like a close range carbine, uh, your rocket rifle, the simple uh, the simple rocket are okay, and most importantly C4. C4 is gonna allow us to kill AMSs uh, very quickly. And uh, sometimes uh, you, ca you have the choice actually of uh, the, the the jump jets you like. When we drop from a beacon, I like to have uh, the ambusher jets. When I uh, when we have to go somewhere or for example take a position on a roof. I like to have the scare missile jets. So important, have a, a kamikaze light assault loadout with C4, it's going to be very important. Next thing is the light assault flanker, for example, when we are not, uh, it's not, uh, we're not, uh, pr we're not trying to kill a Sandy or something, a vehicle, dip a vehicle uh, s static, we're for example required to take a position on the high ground to suppress the enemy. I'm going to ask you to pull a flanker light assault loadout. This is a loadout with a medium to, to long range carbine, so you can engage enemies at range on the low ground. C4 of course is always useful, or medkit actually it's not important, but uh, when we're trying to, when we have this flanker light assault, I need you to be ready with the scare mission just so we can take advantage, so, so we can take positions quickly. So this is the flanker light assault, I like to have the, the C4. Uh, sometimes grenade bandelier, I have another loadout where I have a lot of grenades. This is this one. I have C4 and 4 grenades with the grenade bandelier. Uh, the, another implant that's important for you to have is sensor shield when we're, when we're doing this flanker, this flanker loadout. It's important that you have the sensor shield implant so you don't get your squad mate spotted, spotted by uh, like uh, recon darts, etc. So next loadout, very important one, is uh, the infiltrator uh, hacker. Sometimes I ask you to, I'm going to ask you to hack a terminal and to, to do this it's uh, most, much, most optimal to have an infiltrator with a close range weapon. I don't want you to pull an infill with a sniper, snipers have their place, but usually when we're trying to hack a terminal somewhere, I'm going to ask you to stay close to the action, I'm going to ask you to use your recon darts, and I'm going to ask you to hack uh, terminals. So you can improve the hacking ability somewhere in the ability slope or passive system here. Advanced equipment terminal hacking, you can improve it. The most important part in this loadout, honestly, is that you have sensor shield implant so you don't get spotted and the uh, recon dart. Right now I use a uh, nano armor cloaking with the uh, ammunition belt so I can go around a long time without my friendlies and medkits. So this is the infiltrator hacker loadout. So next is the heavy breacher loadout when we need to breach a point against a lot of enemies. I like to, to have uh, uh, at least one, one loadout with the big LMG, a lot of bullets, one concussion grenade or heavy grenade. I recommend concussion grenade if you're playing with a group and we're trying to breach uh, against the uh, infantry. So the concussion grenade is going to allow us to breach. After you throw a grenade, we, we're, when we breach together, we try to synchronize our grenades we, and uh, we throw the soft grenades first, flash grenade, EMP grenade, uh, concussion grenade, then we throw the real grenades, frag grenades, and then we go in. So I, I like that uh, people have this uh, kind of loadout ready with the uh, with the heavy assault because this is the, it's the easiest class to breach. I also have the tamper. I don't I haven't uh, I don't know exactly how it's effectiveness against bridge to, to bridge, but I'm trying it like right now. For now, the most important with this loadout is that uh, you have um, you have your decimator, concussion grenade. You have med kits. Another option is to have a grenade bandolier, since you're gonna be you're gonna be held by medics. It's nice that you can have also grenade bandoliers. You can you can throw more concussion grenades. Two concussion grenades have a very heavy impact on, uh, on the enemies, on their aim. So it's nice uh, if you can have this, uh, this perk of grenade bandolier. So the next thing is uh, the max. Sometimes I'm going to ask you to pull a max. And it's, it's nice if you have two, 
two inf anti-infantry weapons in each arms. Because when you, when you just start the game, you just have one infantry weapon and one heavy weapon. You should change it as fast as possible. Get the 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 ordin ordinance armor that makes you resist uh, explosive. This is gonna make you uh, life much longer. And I like to use emergency repair. I think it's more useful than AG shield. I also use EOD HUD to, to spot enemy mines and salvage to give me back health when I kill another enemy max. So usually when you pull this loadout, I'm gonna also ask someone to pull an engineer, pocket engineer to support you. So you should, you should be able to, to pull a max, anti-infantry max, it's often when we do point halt. So the next loadout is the harasser driver. Sometimes I'm gonna ask you to, to, uh, to pull a harasser or to pull a vehicle. And uh, it's uh, the, the loadout that, uh, that is most optimized for me is a loadout with a lot of 80 mines. So I have five 80 mines. I'm using the mine carrier in, uh, perk that allows me to, allows me to carry two more 80 mines. And the nano armor kit is very important. A repair grenade. I have an anti-vehicle mana turret that I actually I don't use much uh, with this loadout. I'll, and the important thing is the sweeper HUD implant. And I use logistics specialist. If you don't have logistics specialist, you can use ammo printer and it's gonna be fine. So this is a loadout for you to, to drive around with the harasser in a group and I like uh, when the drivers have a lot of 80 mines so they can place it together. So we can do freaking uh, barricades of 80 mines and wreck a lot of uh, the vehicles that way. So the next thing is that I'm gonna need you to have a thunder as a spawn point. I'm gonna show you the loadout for, for the thunder. Thunder very important when I, we need spawn points is the deployment shield is you need to pull SMD with the, usually I like to have a basilisk and cobalt so we can go anti everything and the racer chassis so you can keep up with your friendly friendly vehicles deployment shield is extremely important you can max it out it's gonna help also I use fire suppression to, to be able to survive longer if we take damage so this loadout is important to have ready is the deployment shield SMD next thing is the anti-vehicle harasser sometimes we do harasser gangs, harasser squads and I like to have a harasser with the stealth, so we don't get spotted. Racer chassis, so we go super fast, fire suppression. And uh, for the gun, uh, anti-infantry is the canister. Anti-vehicle, I use the enforcer with zoom. Uh, reload speed upgrade and ammo capacity upgrade. So these are some kind of vehicle that you, I'm going to ask you to pull. Uh, anti-vehicle harasser, it means this with enforcer or a molnir. Um, I'm not a big fan of the, what's the name, the halberd. So I use the Enforcer, it's pretty good at long range. Next thing, uh, I'm gonna also sometimes ask you to pull a Repair SMD. I'm checking my notes right now. Sometimes I'm gonna ask you to pull a Repair SMD so we can work together. Whereas it's Repair Bus. It's uh, the same loadout, uh, Cobalt and Basilisk. Racer Chassis, Fire Suppression, but this time I have the, in the defense, I have Nanite Proximity Repair. So we, we, when we run in a group, or sometimes we pull harassers and one of the gunners pull a, a repair SMD to park it somewhere and it help us recover when we, when we get to take damage with harassers. Or sometimes we pull repair SMD to, together to, to go against uh, armor columns or just to camp an amp station. So it's important that you have a repair SMD loadout ready. Next thing is sometimes I'm, I'm going to ask you to, to have a support lightning. For example, when we pull harassers and uh, we don't have an extra player for to get to, to for you to be a gunner, I'm going to ask you to pull a lightning just to support us. Is because it's a one-man vehicle and you can already do a lot if you have a support with you. So I like you to ha I would like you to have the rival combat chassis, nanite auto repair and fire suppression. For the gun, you can have the viper or the AP. Actually, I don't have any preference for the gun. They all uh, do decent against and against vehicles. So just have a loadout ready for the lightning. It's going to help us sometimes uh, to support the senders or to support the harassers. All right. So these are the most important loadout. I need you to be combat ready with this loadout. And it's going to help us uh, 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 save time when we do squ squad session. Now you know what uh, you know what we're going to going to pull most likely. So please have this loadout ready. All right. Hello. See you in the next lesson guys. Peace.